Hey there, this is Craft Ranu on behalf of Dress My Craft and in this video I'm going to talk all about this amazing triangle tool which comes with the Dress My Craft multi-purpose scoring board. Let's begin. You find this tool on the back of your scoreboard nicely tucked in. Get it out and let's get to know it better. On top right corner you get this 90 degree angled edge and a small notch over here. Then there is this inch scale printed over here. And here you get all the measurements for envelopes, envelope boxes and gift boxes too on the back side. The instruction guide on this tool is a big help. Let's learn how to read this. Instructions for envelope. In the first column you see measurements for card size. It's actually the ready card size that you want to put inside the envelope. Next is the paper size which means the size of the paper you need to take to create an envelope. And then the scale mark means the mark you need to score at. Instructions for the envelope box. In the first column it gives you the actual box size you're going to get. Next column tells you what paper size you need to take to create that envelope box. And see here you get two different score marks. One is the outer score line and the second one is inner score line. To create gift boxes you don't need to use this tool actually. Just refer the measurements from here and create as usual. I hope this helped you to understand the instruction guide better but wait. How do you actually place this tool on your scoreboard? Let's find out. Should I place it here? No. Here? No? Just align the slanting edge on the tool with the one on top right corner of your scoreboard and then the tool will automatically fix in your scoreboard. Now I am going to make an A2 size envelope. For that I need to cut a paper of 8 by 8 inches size. Here it is. Choose any one side of the paper and align it straight on the side of your triangle tool as shown. Scale mark says to score at 3.5 inches. So place the bottom point of your paper at 3.5 inches on the scale given here and then from this notch on top score the paper using a bone folder. Do the same step on the exact opposite side of the paper. There is still two sides left to score. Now here comes the role of this 90 degree angled edge on this tool. Align the previous score line with this 90 degree angled edge and score. Repeat the same on the other side as well. And now all the sides are done and scored perfectly. Now let's fold this and create it into an envelope. Cut off these triangles on all four sides using scissors. I like to do it with my knot and corner punch. This handy tool makes envelope making so easy. If you haven't tried it yet, I highly recommend it. Here I am rounding the flaps using corner side of the sponge. Now add adhesive to the edges on one flap and close it. And show your envelope all done in a minute's time. Let's make another one but this time a little differently. Picking up the smallest size from instruction guide, cut paper to a size of 5 by 5 inches. Score at 2 inches on two sides and then align the previous score line with 90 degree angled edge to score other sides. Fold on all the score lines. Punch the notches. Then 
then bring in your paper trimmer and chop off a part of all flaps as shown. I am cutting down large flaps at 3.5 inches and shorter ones randomly. Add adhesive to the side and bottom flap and close the envelope. And this is how you make a coin envelope. How quick and easy that was. Now let's move forward and create an envelope box. Here we are going to make a 6.5 by 4 by half inch envelope box. For that we need to cut a paper to size 9 by 9 inches. Here I have it pre-cut. Now as you see here there are two score marks given outer and inner which means every side of the paper will be scored two times. Let's begin with first score line which is at three and a quarter inches and the second one at four inches. Repeat the same for the opposite side as well. Now align the previous score lines with 90 degree angled edge and score again. Do the same on the opposite side as well. Fold on all the score lines. Now here we get two triangles on each side. Cut them all with scissors or use notch and corner punch. You can also cut off these tiny squares on the edges. I prefer to keep the bottom two as is and chop off the top ones. Add adhesive to the tiny square flaps and the sides of large bottom flap. Adhere the square ones first making sure it's aligned straight with the edge and lastly adhere the last flap to close the box. And it's done. You can use this envelope box to keep your dimensional cards or you can use it as a gift box as well. Lastly, I want to share with you some stupid mistakes I did while using this tool. Mistake number one. I was scoring and the tool slipped down a bit like this which made the scoring wrong. So make sure it's touching the wall of the scoreboard on top at all times while scoring. Second mistake. What happened the paper slipped underneath the tool and the scoring went wrong. I had to redo it. So make sure the paper is aligned rightly beside the tool. I hope this video was helpful for you to understand this tool better. If you have any questions regarding the same, please feel free to drop your comments below and we will get back to you. So now I will take leave. Until next time, happy crafting.